Right, okay, part two. So these carbs, they've been sat here for a couple of days now. Um, they've had chemicals flush through them over the course of the last few days, so washed out all the varnish. Not gonna go into that. But the next step is to go into the other cleaning fluid, really hot ultrasonic tank, um, and give them a good cook in there for a couple of cycles of the tank, so sort of 20 minutes or so in total. And then they'll come out of there and we'll go into the vapor plasting cabinet. I'll also float bowls, carb tops, all the other bits and pieces can go in there at the same time. Righty out onwards. So out of the ultrasonic tank and a bit of a hot rinse and then into the ultrasonic tank. You can see how that cleaner kind of brings the aluminium, well I can't speak, brings up the aluminium quite bright. It's not got that sort of dull grey look that you usually get from ultrasonic cleaning. But basically the, the vapour blaster now will just add a real nice sheen to that and even out the surface of the, the aluminium, make it look really nice. Cool. Right, okay guys, so just before I get to the actual, can you see or not, let's give that a wash. It's better, let's turn this windscreen wiper off. Um, so, before I get to the actual carburetor bodies themselves, I'm just doing these float bowls. I just thought I'd share this with you. Might find this interesting, so, you know when you vapor blast something, it can almost be too clean and shiny. If you're doing a sort of restoration type job, then yeah, that's probably a bit too clean because it's not like it was when it came out of the factory. So let me show you what I do about that. I'm not quite sure how well this is going to come out in this light. I've got this, um, it's like my little inspection table on here for doing Cerakote. Anyway, that's, they're identical at the moment. I'm going to do something to one of them, and I'll be back. Okay, Jim's special sauce. Just leave it in there for a minute. So the idea is, we don't want it any less shiny but we want to darken it slightly so it's a little bit more gunmetal than it is shiny silver. It takes about two or three minutes. Let's go and compare, shall we? I wasn't sure whether it was going to come out in this light, but it has. So you can see the difference. Still nice and shiny, but it's got more of a gunmetal sort of colour to it, which is more how it was originally. Anyway, thought I'd show that bit. Um, I'll do the other float bowls um, to that colour, and then I've also done. I've already. Uh, I've already done this to the similar sort of colour. Um, yeah. Anyway, onwards. Kind of pointless filming this, isn't it? Can't really see anything at all. Right, see you on the other side. Righto, so I don't want to go down a massive rabbit hole with this, but various parts are getting a zinc plate or a zinc nickel plate. These are nearly ready to come out. Uh, carburetor tops, all the little brackets, various little bits and pieces, all zinc plated. They're going to get some gold passivate. Um, and then left to dry for 24 hours. Uh, I do, uh, yeah, I don't want to get into plating. Um, a million people have already done it online. Um, but yeah, electric plating, really interesting subject. Um, and you could talk about it forever, couldn't you? I'm sure. What to say? Uh, you can do it at home, definitely. It's a DIY thing. It's a little bit involved, quite messy. Um, if you've only got four carb tops to do, then probably wouldn't bother getting involved, really. There's lots of stuff that can... Yeah, it can be a bit of a faff, is what I'm saying. Anyway, onwards. Okie koki. So, for the fun bit now, a bit of assemblage. So everything laid out, ready to go. I've uh, got some other bits over there on the 
on the other workbench as well but put them together so you know I said the fun bit begins yeah I think I was premature well <laughs> I know I was premature saying that I sort of said it slightly in jest um, what an absolute pain in the ass these are to get together so you've got basically the issue is there's like 20 different things that have got to be in position they've all got to basically come together as one in in one movement so there's all the throttle linkages the choke all these breather pipes and there's these extra uh you get what i'm saying there's a lot going on i've almost got them in position there's a lot going on there that all has to happen at the same time and they're all sort of wibbly wobbly there are some screws that you can sort of put in loosely just to sort of semi hold these two pairs together but what a massive pain in the ass anyway we're making good progress there is a lot going on in there to be fair as carburetors go I think these are one of the worst to do anything V4 related making progress There you go then guys, they're done. Bit of a labour of love that was. Obviously you've watched a couple of 20 minute episodes but holy moly there is some work in a restoration like that. Days and days of labour. But you put the effort in. What to say? Um couple of annoyances and you would have noticed this from early, the earlier video possibly there are a couple of little noggins missing off the bottom of the float bowls here for the for the drain pipes nothing I can do about that can't get other float bowls for it um, that's a good shot you can sort of see the slight difference in the um, color of the aluminium normal vapor blast and then the ones that have had a yeah it's just a nice contrast makes them look nice zinc plating you get the idea um, and then what was the other the only other complete catastrophe that was nearly a catastrophe was on this side here um, where are we here this little choke mechanism um, this snapped off and I can't get this rod so I've had to get creative with my TIG welder um, and it's not perfect but it works perfectly it's just operate the choke so it works fine, it's just not quite as neat as it perhaps could be. But not a lot I can do about that. That's, you know, there are a few, if you wanted to split hairs, there'd be a few little things that weren't absolutely perfect. But, you know, what? compared to how they were when they got here, I think I'll consider that a win. Right, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, no part, about part three for this, so two parts. Um, there are lots of other carb work going on. I might film some more. These have just been finished as well. These are for a uh, VF500. Um, yeah, so do a lot of carburetor restoration. So if you're interested in that sort of work or you want something like that doing, give me a, send me an email. You've got to have deep pockets though. <laughs> right, thanks for watching guys. See you on the other side.